Afternoon folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. What I want to discuss with you today is what I'm going to call the shovel conundrum. And the reason I say that is because a shovel is something that is an underrated tool in any camp situation, but it's also an underrated tool even for backpacking, depending on what you're planning on doing on that trip. If you're going on a hunting trip, if you're going in foul weather, if you're going in winter, uh, depending on the environment that you're operating in, a shovel can be an asset of a tool. The problem with shovels is, for the most part, is they have a lot of weight to them. Now, if you have conveyance like a four-wheeler, a canoe, a snowmobile, something like that, a sled, then you can afford a larger type shovel and you can afford the weight because you have conveyance. If not, you may need a lighter weight option. So what I want to talk to you about today is I just want to talk about three different types of shovels that are available on the market that have been available through surplus and things like that i'm going to stay kind of away from where each one of them is manufactured or what country they come from you'll recognize most of them pretty easy but we will talk specifics on the type of shovel that they are and in some cases the manufacturer because i think that's important as well when it comes to what i would say is probably my all-around choice in a shovel to carry as a backpacking or bushcrafting type tool Stay with me. Okay, so the first shovel that you have is the typical tri-fold military shovel. And it folds up in kind of a Z pattern to take up a smaller area. It is fairly heavy. It's also a very heavy duty shovel. The second one is a static handle that has a locking mechanism to fold the shovel out. Just like the tri-fold, you can also lock that into more of a hoe or mattock position, or you can lock it into the shovel position. So there's a little bit of versatility there. The difference there is that you have a static wood handle on this one instead of a metal folding handle. And it's riveted or pinned into the handle through a metal collar. The third type of shovel is just a static shovel, like this Spetsnaz type shovel. And this one is an actual Russian model here. And you can see that it's screwed in with two screws on the side of a single wooden handle with a folded over ferrule to attach the handle into. And nothing folds or moves on the shovel. So, Let's kind of discuss real quick first the trifold shovels. And the trifold shovels to me, the only two examples that I have here to show you are the only two that I think are really worth discussing or having, which is the old Vietnam type edition or the Ames, the heavy, heavy duty steel one. And then you have the newer Fiskars model here. Both of these are good shovels. This one's got the Gerber logo on it, but I'm pretty sure it's actually made by Fiskars. But this is a military issue shovel. And here's the case for that shovel. This one was brand new in the box, okay? And this one again is also a brand new military shovel. And here's the case for that, okay? Both of these are very heavy duty shovels. Both of them have the ability to lock in multiple positions. The difference in my mind in the two shovels is one of them has plastic and one of them is all metal. So if one of them were going to be weaker than the other, it would obviously be the plastic being the weaker of the two. However, I've never seen a lot of complaints about these things breaking. So I would imagine that they last a good long time. Now, for me, failure mode wise, anything that has a lot of moving components or moving parts on the shovel is going to make it less likely to be something that's going to last for a long period of time. However, there are so many of these around that have been used and abused that are not broken. You can't say that this thing wouldn't last. It's not near as comfortable as far as swinging this thing goes to cut anything. And you can see it has serrated edges here. It's made for chopping things like roots or splitting wood or lemming tasks if it needs to be done. But it's also a great shovel and because it has this U handle on it here, 
it makes a very, very good shovel in and of itself. So you have the same type handle with the Fiskars. The Fiskars of the Gerber has a fairly heavy edge here, but it's not sharpened. It doesn't have the serrations on it at all that the older style shovel has, but I have no doubt that this thing will split wood just as well. Now, the difference here also is, is this one is spot welded here and it's not bolted. This one is actually riveted to the support. So if I had to guess, I'd say this is the more robust of the two shovels. However, again, you're not gonna get a lot of comfort swinging this thing if you're trying to chop wood with it. Why would you wanna chop wood with your shovel? Well, if it's all you have for a tool and you don't have an ax or you don't have a machete or you don't have a large knife, then you're going to chop wood with your shovel. You're not going to chop wood with this thing on a regular basis. You're going to chop wood with it if you have to. And it would be smaller type wood that you're using to build a quick debris shelter of some kind or start a quick campfire. I think either one of these will do the tasks, although either one of those is fairly heavy. They are heavy and they're not as comfortable to swing as other shovels are. However, do I think these are a good option? I absolutely do. If you're looking for one shovel to buy, either one of those is probably a very good option. I would not get the off, the knockoff type shovels. If you're gonna try to get one of these folding shovels, these tri-fold shovels, I would actually get a military issue, either a Gerber Fiskars like this one, or an Ames if you can find one. Uh, an older Vietnam type Ames shovel would be the one I would go for. And those are gonna be your best bet. These are not my first choice. They're my first choice for a vehicle. They would be my first choice for something like a four-wheeler, but they wouldn't necessarily be my first choice for packing, although they do have Molly attachments on them and Alice clips and things like that to attach them to backpacks. They're still heavy, okay? So we'll set those aside for a minute. Now let's talk about the folding type shovels for just a minute. I've got several examples. This one is a Vietnam era issue US shovel, okay? And there's nothing wrong with this thing. The biggest problem with a shovel like this for our purposes is that the wooden handle, if it breaks, is going to be difficult to replace because you have a solid peened over pin in here holding that handle on there. That's very difficult to replace that and duplicate that in the wild. Now, again, probably not going to break this thing very easily. However, you've got a lot of weight forward on this shovel. And if you swung this at a really, really hard piece of wood, I could see this splitting off on you. And then you'd have a big problem because you'd end up with half a shovel, right? Now, there is a folding shovel out there. I'll show you a couple more real quick of that style first. This one is a smaller version of the same thing from a different country. I believe this was German, okay? And this is one of my favorite ones. It does exactly the same things as this one. It's just got a little bit shorter handle on it and a little less weight. And then there's a model here that's also a German one that also has a pick. And it has a locking device on it here for the pick so that you can use it as a pick or for an ax if you want to. You just have to swing it into position and lock it in and you have a pick on one side and you have a shovel on the other. And this one again can be locked in several different positions because of that pin. But the same thing again, you have a handle in here that's got two pins in it that are basically rivets. So if you break this or basically they're straight through pins that have been peened over. So if you end up breaking this handle and you have to replace it, you're gonna have difficulty doing that if you don't have a way to get that thing back to civilization quick, fix it, it's not something you're gonna be able to do around camp. That's the only problem with these wooden handle type shovels that have been put in place with some type of a straight through pin like this, okay? But these are good options. There's nothing wrong with any of these options. All of these shovels are have got a lot of age to them. They've all been used for a lot of tasks. They've all been beat on pretty hard. But again, I would be very wary, I think, myself, using one of these shovels for a really, really heavy duty chopping or cutting task, 
Again, not what a shovel's made for to begin with. They're made for digging holes, but if you're carrying a shovel and you want that option, I would think twice about something like this because of the wooden handle scenario, okay? Now you do have this option, and this is a Swedish shovel. And it works exactly the same way, except this is a complete steel handle on this shovel. The entire handle is steel. The entire shovel is steel. It has one locking nut that goes through the handle. And then it's riveted in four places to a bracket here that goes onto the handle itself. And the entire handle is made out of metal. That thing is pretty much bomb proof, but it's also really, really heavy. But for a vehicle, this would be my first choice. For a vehicle shovel and a military folding style shovel, this would absolutely be my first choice, bar none, would be this Swedish shovel over any of the other ones that we just talked about as far as the folding shovels go. Okay, it's got a nice wide blade on it. It's got plenty of edge on it. If I had to use it to chop something with, I could do that. And again, I wouldn't have to worry about the handle breaking most likely because it is made out of metal. Okay, that brings us to the static shovel or the Spetsnaz style shovel. And again, this one is a Russian model here from 1985. I think it is stamped on this one by 84, okay? I like these shovels for a pack shovel. These are probably my favorite pack shovels. However, the actual Russian version of this, which this is an actual Russian military version, in my mind, is not as good as the cold steel version. And I've never been a huge fan of cold steel, but they do have a couple pieces of kit that are well worth having in anyone's arsenal. And this shovel is one of them. They call this their special forces shovel. It's designed after the Spetsnaz shovel. The difference between these two is this does not have a hardwood handle. You can tell by the weight. This one has a hardwood handle. It has a heavy hickory handle in it. This one does not. This one has a folded over ferrule on it with two screws that go in the side. And it's just riveted on the ferrule right there. The ferrule on this one is folded over and solidly welded across here with two larger screws here that actually countersunk into the metal itself. And the blade is actually two millimeters thick, which is about a half a millimeter thicker than the actual Russian version. It's a heavier shovel. It weighs more, but it's also pretty much indestructible. The only thing you could tear up on this shovel was going to be the handle. And again, because all you have to do is replace it and put two screws in it, any multi-tool you can use to replace this handle as long as you got a knife and a way to cut a handle. So it's easy enough to replace this if you have to in the wild, which is why this one for me takes the cake when it comes to a pack shovel. Now, the one thing I want to show you with this is that I've been testing lately is this, okay? In the spirit of the shadow of Nesmic, this is a titanium version of this same shovel. Okay. I beat this thing pretty good. And I was able to get the handle to loosen up a little bit, but all I had to do was tighten the screws down and it was good to go again. Good to go again. However, the concern I have with this is the same as I have with this. The handle, you can tell by the weight of it, it's not a hardwood handle. So my recommendation would be, even if you were going to lighten your load with the titanium head, which I don't think you're going to hurt this head any, no matter what you do to it, I would get a replacement handle for one of these cold steel shovels, and I would put that in here, and that's what I'm going to do. Countersink this and get this set up so that it's got the same holes you can see they're on opposite sides of these two shovels so you would have to use these screws in these two holes line everything up 
make new holes in the, in the handle for the replacement cold steel, but it'll fit no problem. It's the same size handle. It just needs to be retrofitted in there. And then you have a really, really heavy duty handle in the shovel. And I don't think you could ever destroy it. And you have something that's going to be a lot lighter weight than this shovel is. So you have three different weights here. You have a titanium, you have the standard actual Soviet issue and the cold steel. And the cold steel is by far the heaviest, but it's also by far the heaviest duty of the three. So I guess at the end of the day, you know, this is not really a review video on a shovel. There's been plenty of reviews out there of this cold steel shovel for sure, but it definitely has my endorsement as kind of the one tool option for, you know, packing into the woods if you don't want to carry an ax. If you just want to have a lightweight or semi lightweight option that probably weighs less than an ax, this is a good option for you and allows you a lot of other options that the ax doesn't afford and I think that is really the key to it is you know you say well if I have an axe I can chop all the wood I want but how many holes can you dig so I can dig holes with this I can limb with this I can split with this I can cut firewood with this I can even cook with it if I have to there's lots and lots of things that you can do with a shovel like this that make it a piece of kit that's worth looking at am I saying I would carry this thing every day over anything else not what I'm saying. I'm saying that it may have a place in your kit and you should definitely give it that option. So if I'm looking at shovels in general, back to the shovel conundrum, I would say that, you know, a long handled steel Swedish shovel would have its place in any vehicle of mine over any of the other models because it's not small. It's got some length to it. So it's going to give me the ability to move a lot of dirt if I need to. Again, if I've got a vehicle, I may have to get that vehicle unstuck. So I'm going to want that extra handle length and that wider spade to be able to move more dirt. But at the same time, I don't want to have to carry that much weight on my back. Something like this is better in my mind than the trifold shovel because it doesn't weigh as much. And the handle's easy to replace. If I have to replace it, it's much easier to do that. 